So you just had your panel at WonderCon. How was the panel? It was a lot of fun. I, I enjoy the panels. They're, they're a great uh, opportunity to connect with the fans, of course. Um, and and the, um, the questions are always very interesting. And sometimes the improv is really funny. It's nice to see the crowd respond, too, yeah. sometimes. Like what? What happened? I just, you never know what yeah. it is about what you're about to say hits deep with the fan community okay. because they're fans, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't take that act on the on the road. It might not get the same reception. True. So that's always fun. Yeah. You know. Speaking of the fandom, what do you think is the staying power of Power Rangers? Like, it has lasted for so long. It's still going. The fans love it. What is it about Power Rangers? Uh, well, definitely it's the fans that is the staying power. But like I said in the, um, I think this question came up during the panel, and mm -hmm. I think it's, um, it's a powerful symbol for interconnectedness coming together bringing mm -hmm. people together and working as a team yeah. you know towards a, a a common a goal that's uh, got a commonality among everybody mm -hmm. a common good yeah so being a six ranger that's new to the equation what was that like joining being a six ranger and being quantum ranger it's a little bit different in that equation well the the formula formula usually is you have the five rangers a red and then a gold or a white or a green comes along throws some conflict into the mix um so in my season i have the distinction of being the only sixth ranger to also be a red ranger mm -hmm. so we had two rangers on our season uh, i was red and black he was red and white and we have a history uh, as schoolmates mm -hmm. and it made for a very interesting dynamic in the story um, I know it's a favorite among a lot of fans uh, the character arc that my character goes through is he starts off really uh, vindictive uh, really angry and he makes a transformation and learns to be a team player so I, I think that's a powerful story yeah. yeah what other kind of stories would you like to tell with Power Rangers what I like to tell? Yeah. I don't know. After 30 years, I think they've covered a lot of, a lot of, sto a lot of ground. True. I don't know what else I could add to it. I mean, it's an incredibly diverse uh, show. <laughs> and um, I don't know what else I could say. I, I just keep going, doing what they're doing. Anything else in particular comes to mind of exciting or cool memories of Power Rangers? Or even your experience here at WonderCon? Well, I mean, Power Rangers was the first show that I got hired on to play a regular, mm -hmm. a season uh, regular, and um, at times even carry the episode mm -hmm. that I was in. And that was a, a very exciting and new experience. And because it was virgin ground for me, I had to figure it out all by myself. And that was, in hindsight, it's interesting how I got through it and fun to reflect on. Yeah. And, and being at these conventions, WonderCon in particular, they're, they're always a lot of fun. It's always great and inspiring uh, as an actor to run into people who love your work, love the work we did mm -hmm. as a team on that show. Um, and it, um, it's motivating to keep you going, you know? It's good uh, food for the soul sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Some of the ways that your characters will affect people uh, or at least the, the ways I found that my characters affected people profoundly in their lives. One person became a criminologist. Yeah, I got a letter, I got a letter from a fan who, who said that he was inspired to become a criminologist after that, after watching this show. And so you just, you never know. You never know how powerful uh, your work is going to be received, how powerfully it's going to be received, and how powerful it is when you make it, uh, in, in no matter what show it is. Is there anything else you have coming up that you want to let fans know about? And what, any other messages to the fans? Um, I have a film out on Netflix I think most of the fans know about. It's called Blade of the 47 Ronin. It's a sequel to the 47 Ronin. I play the main villain. Of course, I'm always playing a little bit of a heavy. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Go check it out. I think you'll like it, especially if you're a fan of this kind of uh, genre. And uh, to the fans, thank you very much for your appreciation, your support and for making things like this happen. It doesn't happen without your passion for the work that we've done and the genre that we're in. Wonderful, well thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, it's much pleasure.